Alright, hello everybody, um, so I'm back with the Transformer Siege, Megatron Voyager class. And, um, so I'll be gone for a while, and, uh, I don't really have an excuse, but let's just get on with the review. <laughs> so, here is the packaging, which is the box. Hold on. Just look at the, the artwork. Megatron is standing on Omega Supreme, which appears to be dead. Let's look at the back of the box. Yep. The side, the side for some more artwork. Strip or siege. And that's it. Back to the figure itself. So Megatron here is actually pretty good. To think of it, he could be better. I mean, guess I don't really like the the paint on his chest, his arms, and his legs. I, mean, I would prefer I would prefer it to be gone, but he looks okay. And on the helmet, I'm seeing like battle damage. Okay, let's, let's take a look at the, his sword gun thing. So this is actually pre painted pretty good. And this can like open up, I guess. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And there's like a big peg here. To, you, to be used as a sword. And then there's this for a uh, gun if you want. I don't know. I'll just put this off to the side for, for a moment. <coughs> Back to the figure itself. Oh, yeah, this fusion can is actually pretty good. I like how like small it, small it is compared to like the masterpiece version. Yep, and uh, you could you could take it off if you want. Just rotate it off. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's a peg for this, but that's more for the transformation. So yeah. Oh, there's a lot of detail. Looks really nice. Just put this off the side. Now to Megatron by himself. He looks really good, actually. Here's the side of it. Here's the back of it. He just wants to do a tank, even though I prefer a gun. Because that because Megatron's a gun. So Yep. Now for basically posability. <coughs> Swivel at the head up really far. Because of this hinge joint. And down that far because of the hinge joint. And his ball jointed head is really weird because it's at the bottom of the bucket head. It's really weird. Anyway, for the arms, arm can move out that far. Can extend backward if you just unpeg it. And you can rotate the arm a full 360. A little bit, so. Then, elbow swivel. Bend out the elbow. And no wrist swivel, but you can just move it in. That counts, I guess. Same thing, same possibility on the other arm. And then waist swivel, which is really tight. You can kick that far, can go back that far. And he could do the splits. Which is actually pretty good. Body swivel, bend at the knee, and... Uh, Ankle, an ankle pivot. See, right here, there's actually a little tab to keep it in, but you just have to pull. Yeah. And then there's a hinge door here. At his uh, heel. Now, um, for the transformation, let me just put this back in. Now, put the uh, fold the wrist into the elbow. Mm. 
No. Come at the back of the figure. And then, you see this? It's a hinge boy and just pull it up. Now, this entire sec this entire section, just pull it up. Like that. And then for the arms, just um, fold fold them back. And th there's a ta there's um there's uh like a tab there. So and then so this goes into there. So just fold it in. See that? Yeah, there. Oh, I forgot. Um, you have to m move this like that. So all the detail is facing this way. Now, now do this. Okay. Now come to the tank treads and unpeg them from here. And then this right here, you see the little pegs here? Just fold it down until you see this. There's like a little tab and then this just tabs into there. There. Now you just want to fold it back as far as you can. So it just fits right into it. Hold on. You just have to kind of force it in. And then put this back because it tends to um, untab. Alright. Now come to the legs. Um, turn the waist all the way until you see until you, you see these two screws facing that, the front. <laughs> then uh, you just want to unpeg these. Well, they're not really pegging it, and they just pull them out. Then you kind of want to just oh yeah, fold these into the feet. Then um, do the splits, and then just bend the knees. Well, not the knees, but bend like yeah, his knees, but this way. And then, see, there's like a little rotation here, so you just want to pull that as back, back as you can. Like, just do this. Like that. And there's a little tab. There's a tab. There's tabs at the waist, so just make sure that this just just pull this out, and then right here, put put it back in to where it's supposed to be, and then right here, just tabs. Right here. And then just. Plug it in. Same thing for the other leg. Just do that. And that. Alright, perfect. Then just face these um, down. That's pretty much it. Now for the sword. For the sword, and just unpeg this and then fold them all the way back until they peg again. So you're gonna have something like this. Then come to the thing and then just just do what I'm doing. Oh yeah, there's a little peg right here. A hole. And this is this is where this comes in. So just yep, this. There. And there you have it. The Megatron tank mode. Oh, this looks pretty good. And one thing I really like about this figure is that this can rotate. This can rotate like that. The filter should be good. And then he can kind of roll a little bit. He has like four plastic little wheels. Oh yeah, and the kibble on this figure is kind of bad. I mean, if you don't look at the bottom. Yeah, pretty good. I'm gonna do some uh, quick size comparisons. So, 
Hold on just a second. Let me just transform right. Soundwave. So now, let's see how he compares with Soundwave. Obviously, he's longer than Soundwave in his spaceship mode thing. Legit. And so, yeah. So I'm going to put these two in robot mode and then I'm going to see how they s compare. And so, um, this is how the Transformers Siege, War for Cybertron, Megatron, and Soundwave compare. Oh yeah, Soundwave is from Transformers Siege. So, I mean, they compare. They said it's really good. Obviously, Megatron's a bit taller. So, let me just move out Soundwave's. Soundwave, so let me just show you something I forgot to show. Remove, remove the sword and then come to his back. The sword can actually plug into his back on, on the tank treads. So now he has like a sword on his back. And you can put a lot of stuff on this figure because look, he has like these peg holes. He has one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. He has 12 peg holes to put stuff in. And maybe 14 because I don't know. I don't know if these screws count. So that's it for the Transformer Siege War for Cybertron Megatron. See you all next time in the next review. Goodbye.